we can think of therapy as the brain learning a skill that's not unlike learning a complex motor skill or, for example, um, um, becoming adept uh, at a particular sport uh, or becoming adept at a musical instrument where there's systematic practice and that practice leads to a demonstrable change in behavior. You know, the anxiety of getting depression is almost worse yes, than the depression. Yes. And the thing that you need to remember about that is that you have always gotten through it, maybe with cuts and scrapes and serious wounds, but you've always gotten through it. So... The curiosities and energies that had always been rightfully mine were finally taking their place. And yet for me it was not that simple. My personality, yes, had always consisted of suppressed energies and curiosities, but also of depressions, echoing intensities, drivenness that tipped into pain. I missed these things, or parts of them anyway, for they were as familiar to me as dense fog and drizzle which has its own sort of lonely beauty, as does a desert or the most mournful of music. Having lived with chronic depression, a high-pitched panic, and a host of other psychiatric symptoms since my earliest years, I had made for myself an illness identity, a story of self that had illness as its main motive, the explanatory model on which my being was based. And now gone, I had tipped over, stepped over the border into health. There was no more depression, which had felt like the stifling yet oddly comforting weight of a woolen blanket, or anxiety, which lent a certain fluorescence to things, or voices, which had always been there, sometimes louder, sometimes softer, some north star of sound in the night. <laughs> In the 12 years since she has left the hospital that had become a second home, Lauren has tamed her depression and learned to live with it. At times, it can be a precarious piece, but one that has allowed her to write and become a critically praised author. When I was in the hospital, there was a mental health worker who was so smart and she said to me around maybe my fourth time in, you know, you're just gonna come back here forever, aren't you? And it looked that way. It looked like that was going to be my life. Well, in some ways, I feel like I'm just so damn successful. <laughs> but not for the reasons that you might think, um, but because I'm out and I've stayed out. The adult brain is capable of the whole panoply of human thought. But it's emotion that is at the very heart of our thinking lives. Our lives are governed by emotions and the interaction of emotions with our thought processes. That's, that's who we are. We are emotional people. There's no such thing as a, a non-emotional moment in life. We think by feeling. What is there to know? I hear my being dance from ear to ear. I wake to sleep and take my waking slow. I learn by going where I have to go. Mm -hmm. 